on, pass the ball, pass the ball, come on, yes, okay, now shoot, 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 you, you got three seconds left, shoot, why didn't you shoot the ball, come on, I hate when they don't listen to me. Bullying occurs when there is a power imbalance between individuals or a group of individuals. The negative behavior is purposeful, often repetitive, and involves a threat of emotional or physical harm. A bystander is a person who witnesses bullying taking place, whether it be in person or in a digital setting, feels powerless to intervene and just stands by while the bullying is happening. An upstander is someone who witnesses bullying and takes action to try to stop it. If the situation is safe enough for an upstander to intervene, they have three options to stop the bullying. Be a buddy. Bullies don't expect their targets to have a buddy. This could include intentionally becoming friends with people that may be vulnerable to bullying. Sit with them in the cafeteria. Hang near them when they're outside. Interrupt the bullying. Call out to the person and ask them to come sit with you. Join you and your friends for a walk. Maybe play ball. It then gives the person being bullied a chance to walk away from the bully. Speak out against the bullying. This can take some courage. It helps if you're in a very public place and there is safety in numbers. Perhaps you're older or bigger than the bully. Or maybe you're with a group of friends that you're sure will have your back. Face the bully and say something like, Hey, stop that. That's mean. Leave John alone. Sometimes you can't intervene while the bullying is happening. Maybe it's not safe for you to intervene right then. It's important to tell an adult about the bullying, even if it's after the fact. That way, you can help make sure that the bullying stops and that the person being bullied is safe. Until next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye!